friends, it's Nancy. Got a thrift haul to share with you. Um, sorry about the light. Um, I'm actually doing this from my bed. <laughs> There's not a flat surface in this house that isn't covered in something, so. Um, went to the Way and Pay, and I got this um, 1958 shellfish um, recipe book. I thought that was kind of fun. This uh, actually came from a different thrift store, and it is a 1930s Irish, English Irish dictionary. It's over 1,500 pages, and it's all English to Gaelic, and then do we go Gaelic to Irish to English? Doesn't look like we do. It's just English words. Hmm. Well, that is very cool. Um, I paid two dollars for this, and uh, and it had this little um, flyer in it about where to buy Irish books. So it was um, eighteen or sorry, nineteen forty-three. Found this little book. Um, it's in terrible condition, but I thought the illustrations were so cute. And uh, I think this was 19... Um, 1928. So it has some really cute 1920s sorts of images. Um, but the back's ripped. Then I found this little book. Um, it's just got some images. There was, oh, it's hard to do this one handed, but it had like some uh, vintage advertisements and stuff in there. And then images of antique kind of stuff. Um, I have enough music books. But I like this because it's the right size to fit in a signature and um, it's nicely aged and the date is 1933, I believe. So, um, no, it can't be. I don't know what it is. And then I found this. It's in terrific shape, um, and it's old. I think uh, the gingham sort of passed me by. I maybe was born a little too early. So this is uh, 1976. Has a it must have been a library book or something because it has a um, pocket in the back and a due date in the front. It's just got some really cute images in it. Um, these are actually 45 records. But the, um, this is card. And I thought, oh, that's kind of fun. I might be able to make something neat out of those. Um, so I got this one. And this one is green. And this was just a wrapper. Um, I like the price tag on it. <laughs> this is a 78, not a 45. Isn't that interesting? Then I found this box, an empty box, and it says Gresham Full Fashioned Hosiery Fit for a Queen. I could not let I couldn't let let that just stay. Well, it says size 10. The color is Sunrise Full Fashioned Hosiery. Um, this is, uh, this is an atlas. Um, I'll be pitching most of it, but the maps at the front I really liked. I believe this was, um, 1964. But I really like the color and the size of the maps at the front. So I'll be using those. Um, probably the ones at the back, not so much.
This is um, a drawing pad. It just has um, some nice paper in it. This is a book of Christmas carols and it has words but it also has these like Victorian postcards and uh, vintage images. Some of them are really too big for anything but let's see. This one was Peter Rabbit and it has some big pictures of Peter Rabbit as, long, as well as some smaller ones. <clears throat> and then I got three ideals. Um, so this one's Thanksgiving. These are these two are Christmas and they're older. I think this one was 50. No, that was 1971 and this one was in... I'm thinking was 50s. 1958. So, there's some good pictures in there. Okay, moving on. Um, I found this. This is a um, page day desk calendar. But each page has a Victorian image on it. So what's not great about that? Um, have fun with that. I found this box of staples. I like the box. It has the reinforced um, metal pieces on it and this very old looking stapler. That was 80 cents. I, paid, I got that at the, the other thrift store. Uh, got some trim. Got a memo book, paper. This is a bridge. And this has got the line, you can't see it because of the light in here. Uh, this has green lines in it. I got these old Canadian, whoop, okay, let's get through this. These are vellum sayings about cats. The This is just a little card. Um, these are square envelopes. Uh, these are some old Canadian postcards. Let's see if there's a date on them. No. But there was four of them. I've been there. That's pretty. So those are some oldies but goodies. Um, there's another bridge pad. And this I didn't get open. But it says 52 ways to make a difference. So, I don't know. Paid for, the, for it by the pound, so. Um, and then I hit the jackpot. I got all of these vintage patterns. Some of them are quite old. Like, look at that one. Some packages had two patterns in it. Look at those cuties. I just hit the jackpot. That's pretty with all the pink. Also got this box that's um, you know her. <laughs> I think it's Dutch, but I can't think. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, and it's it it's like an artist box, so it has paint and uh, you know little things that she might use. Um, so this was 
uh, a Hallmark box, and it was originally $12.50, but I paid pennies for it because I got it at the weigh and pay. Oh, got an old package of um, seam binding, a couple of button cards, a couple more button cards, a wooden spool of thread. This is um, uh, knitting needle packaging. I thought that would be nice in a collage or something. And this is um, a silk, a little silk tie from Simpsons, which has been defunct for a while. And it's just a long, narrow silk tie. And um, I'm thinking about, I might tea dye this and tear it up a bit um, to make, you know, ties for tags or who knows. Anyway, so that's my um, haul for today. I hope you thought it was interesting. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll talk again soon.